Origins of Thanksgiving. Please forgive my hair, people. I woke up, ran to my sister's house to get some stuff. And this is the first cigarette of the day, so, uh, might not be looking so great. Uh, Origins of Thanksgiving. It was formed in reaction to Christmas. Because all the fun-loving, uh, Roman Catholics who kick ass and were fun, uh, <coughs> had Christmas. Well, the Protestants didn't see Christmas in the Bible. Uh, they didn't see a date for it, even though uh, I believe that it's the date is basically Saturnalia, you can say. But um, there's other reasons for it being the date. Mithra and Attis, that was after they took the day for, from the Christians, because the Christians were already using it as a celebratory thing. But Thanksgiving formed in reaction to it. They actually outlawed Christmas. Here's a fun thing about outlawing Christmas. Oliver Cromwell, the Puritan psychopath, evil bastard who uh, ethnic, tried to ethnically cleanse Ireland, um, or at least part of it, outlawed going to church on Christmas. He also outlawed singing, dancing, uh, anything fun. But he... Smoked, so smoking's okay with the Protestants. Uh, they hated Cromwell so much, they actually kicked him out and put the monarchy back in. They kicked out the parliamentarians. I think that's Charles II they put in. Yeah. After Cromwell. Well, Thanksgiving was a New England thing. Because they couldn't have, you know... The, uh, the Christmas, Christmas survived in America and Maryland and Virginia mainly, uh, and some of the southern states. So you wouldn't expect it later in later years. Severely anti-Catholics rise up there, but also because of the Anglican presence, people still attached to the Church of England who recognized Christmas and didn't want to give up their roots. Uh, but in the North, there's this thing called Thanksgiving. Uh, I don't know if it originally was because of the settling it. I think it, yeah, it was the it was a a reenactment of the uh, of the feast that actually happened at uh, with the Indians. You know, when the when the pilgrims landed. Although the, mainly the people celebrating Thanksgiving weren't from the pilgrim stock. They were from the more uh, a different strain of Puritan. The Pilgrims were more like the Separatists. The Puritans, I guess, Congregationalists, they'd be. Again, I get my Protestants confused. But uh, w now we have both Christmas and Thanksgiving because it kind of was just only a New England thing. And then <clears throat> during the Victorian era, Victoria, I think, uh, no, pre-Victorian era, um, started getting, you know, as people moved west, they brought the tradition of Thanksgiving with them. Uh, I believe it was Abraham Lincoln who uh, instituted Thanksgiving as a day of uh, uh, celebration day or holiday. Uh, this might have been just to impose a very northern Yankee holiday on the south, but uh, he was also the first one to pardon the turkey. I don't know about that, though. Uh, but yeah, the roots of Thanksgiving are anti-Catholic. That's probably why I've always hated Thanksgiving. I never could stand Thanksgiving. I don't know why. I didn't like the food. I didn't like the temperature. I didn't like the way people dressed. I didn't, you know, sweaters and crap. And just a bad time of year. I don't like November. I never liked Thanksgiving. That's probably because I was baptized in the Catholic Church as an infant, which is a real baptism. If you're baptized in the Catholic Church, that counts in Orthodoxy. That's why they would not allow me to get rebaptized. He said, no, you already baptized. Um, so Thanksgiving is originally anti-Catholic holiday. Now good patriotic American Catholics celebrate it with no contradiction because it winds up becoming part of their culture because they're American citizens. And now the Protestants are back. To, oh, there's a war against Christmas. The first war against Christmas was started by the Protestants. And now all these crazy evangelicals who love, uh, the, you know, this Cotton Mather and Jonathan Edwards, Sinners in the Hands of Angry God. Oh, these guys are a war on Christmas. Uh, it was started by the Protestants. And guess what? The Protestants are still doing it, except they call themselves atheists or secularists or whatever they want to call themselves. Peace to you.